and she's feeding two raccoons. And I gotta stay in because I'm not feeling good, so. Still haven't got the generator running. Electrician's coming out tomorrow to double check it. The guy that came to start it up, he couldn't start it because uh, it wasn't reading right, so. There he, he took a hot dog from her. He's sitting on the, the step over there. This fellow doesn't have to get hot dogs. He's got a whole stash there. Yeah. So I did my breathing test this morning at the Aberdeen Hospital. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> yeah, she kept saying blow, blow, blow. I had nothing left to blow, but they wanted to keep doing it. So, anyway, we got that over with, and now I got my colonoscopy next week. More blood work. One thing to say about my uh, nurse practitioner, uh, Paul, he's making sure that, that I'm getting everything done I need to get done, not like the other fellow. <clears throat> he just totally ignored me. <laughs> He's got his own private stash. There's Mr. Connor. Are you watching everything? Are you, baby? Are you watching everything? He's a good boy. He's a good baby boy. <laughs> I don't know where Charlotte is. She's around somewhere. Seraphina sleeping. He came for some more. That's her jacket that my nephew had made for her. I have the identical one with my pictures on it. No, nope, I'm leaving. It was the dogs last night chased them away again. Yeah. A good boy. Something spoke them? Yeah. Dogs? It sounded like a coyote. Oh. I thought uh. it might have been flower, I was thinking, but well, then I heard the coyote howl. She was here at 3 30 this morning. The flower? Yeah. Well, that's it for Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, I've been laying with the blankets and getting trying to get warm. 
Somebody took my spot. <laughs> okay, we'll put this up on the internet. Huh? Yep. Yeah.